Hello, this is John from TC Math Academy. And in this particular video, we're gonna figure out what the place value is of where this eight is located in this decimal. Okay, so we have this decimal 0 0.078135. The eight uh, is this particular digit in this decimal is locating at, uh, located at what place value? All right, so if you uh, know the answer to this question, go ahead and put that into the comments section. Of course, I'm gonna show you the answer, the correct answer in just one second, and then we're gonna have a quick discussion on place value. But uh, again, we are talking about basic elementary math, arithmetic, and most of us, you know, it's been a long time, at least like for myself, I learned this or first learned this way back in the good old 1970s. So most of you out there probably you're saying, I knew this, but it was like 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 years ago. Hey, I totally get it. But if you plan on getting back into mathematics, whether you want to refresh uh, you know, your math skills or if you're going to be taking more advanced math like algebra and geometry, then this basic stuff is important and it's not that complex. But anyways, I'll answer this question and then we're going to get into what place value is. And then I'll give you some guidance on how you can improve in basic mathematics as well. Uh, also, if you need math help with the course you're taking, test prep or homeschooling, make sure to check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to it in the, uh, in the description below. And if this video helps you out, don't forget to like and subscribe as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so we got 0 0.078135. The eight is in what place? Well, let's go ahead and give you the answer right now. It's in the thousands place, okay? So that is the answer. All right, so how'd you do? Well, if you got this right, let's go ahead and give you a nice big happy face and A plus, a 100% and a few stars. So you can tell your friends and family that you still remember place value. They'll be like, that is so impressive. I totally forgot all that stuff because for some of you, it was a long time ago. So I can remember back being in elementary school and kind of sort of learning this stuff, you know, and some of you out there probably maybe not can, you know, have a tough, tough time just remember even being in elementary school at all. You know, you might have some memories of it, but we certainly don't remember everything we learned, right? Just think about all the skills that you developed that you forgot learning, but you have, right? Like, let's say, you know, if I gave you this problem, 152 times uh, 15, right? You could still do that. Most of you out there can still do this without the aid of a calculator or 371 uh, divided by 3. You could still do this problem. You need to thank uh, that teacher way back and uh, you know, many years ago for most of you out there that you have these skills. Okay, So even though you don't remember them, uh, they somehow end up into your brain. So what we're talking about here is not artificial intelligence, AI. This is like real intelligence, right? So it's pretty impressive how we've learned things through the years, absorbed all this information. We just kind of forgot where we learned it, but it still really resides somewhere in our brain. Okay, so uh, if you got this right, that's outstanding. But uh, let's just do a quick review of place value. Now, uh, really to do a full review of this, uh, this kind of, you know, um, you really kind of need a, a little bit of a full lesson to justify this, but we'll just do a real fast review. So let's take this decimal 0.3. So I said, hey, how would you say this decimal here? Most of you might say that's 0.3. Some of you might say, hey, that's three tenths. So for those of you that can describe this decimal point three as three tenths, that's outstanding. Okay, because the three here is in the tenths place. Matter of fact, this decimal point three is, um, of course, we can uh, say it as three tenths because the three is uh, in the tenths place, but we can also write an equivalent uh, fraction to this decimal. So 0.3 or 3 tenths is the same thing as a fraction 3 tenths. Okay, so how do you convert a decimal to a fraction? Well, we need to kind of state that decimal using place value. So let's take a look at another example here. So here we have 0 0.02. Uh, again, if this 3, okay, that 3 here was the first digit to the right of the decimal point, that was the tenths place, as we saw here. The next one over is the hundredths place. So this uh, decimal here, 0 0.02, is the same thing uh, as two hundredths. Okay, that's again how we would pronounce this decimal, or, uh, describe this decimal using place value. So 0 0.02, same thing as two hundredths, which of course is equivalent to the fraction two over 100, which is also equivalent to the fraction one over 50 if we reduce or simplify 
that um, uh, fraction. Okay, so hopefully this is all kind of coming back. You're like, oh yeah, now I kind of remember. Well, if that's the case, well, hopefully this is now going to be very easy, right? All right, so this first digit to the right of the decimal point is the tenths place. The next one over, as I just uh, did that example, where this was 0.3. Here I did that example 0 0.02, so this is the hundredths place. So the eight is uh, in what place? Well, if this is the tenths, that's the hundredths. We're just going by powers of 10. This is the thousandths place, so the eight is in the thousandths place. Okay, so place value is very, very important for obvious reasons, right? If you need to convert a decimal to a fraction, you need to understand place value. And, you know, you need to understand, you know, how to work with decimals uh, without the aid of a calculator. And the first place you want to start is just kind of brushing up on all those concepts of what place value uh, is, what it represents, you know, kind of do some more practice problems on this. If you need help, with basic mathematics. I'm talking about stuff like place value, decimals, uh, fractions, you know, percent, all that kind of good stuff. I have an excellent little mini course. I call it my Math Foundations course. It's a three chapter quick course. Uh, it's a well, brush up uh, on all those basic math skills that are critical to establish a strong um, arithmetic foundation that's important, not only just in basic math, just to have basic math skills uh, without the aid of a calculator, uh, but also to be, uh, be prepared for more advanced math like algebra. So, of course, you can find this at my uh, math out program at tcmathacademy.com. I also have a ton of additional videos on my YouTube channel that can help you out with basic math as well. All right, but if this video helped you out, don't forget to like and subscribe. And with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.